good, Tiny? What's good, man? Late night vibes? Yeah, it's only 7.30 over here for me. I gotta get some stream time in though, man. I've been fucking so tired lately. You know, I was busy yesterday. I had the, uh, the Little Ones concert. Had our Christmas concert yesterday, so we uh, got back a little bit late, so didn't decide streaming. But tonight, we're gonna rock some Devil in Me. I was gonna play a little bit of the High on Life, but I need something a little chill, you know, a little kickback. You know, I'm getting old, man. I need chill, I need to relax. How's the microphone sound? It's a little, a little messed up, a little quiet. Let me check here. One second, one second. There we go, that's all right. Back on OBS, so it seems to have like a weird fucking cap on my volume. Don't know why. Okay, we good. It's cracking, it's shaking. You guys played this yet? I uh, ended up getting the series. So we got the four games, the Man of Medan. Why can't I see my alerts? Why aren't those popping up? I did not see those. You guys see that on screen at all? Refresh. What? Let me, uh, let me, uh, refresh one of these. Yo, Kyle with the share. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yo, why can't I see that? Is it in the wrong place? Nah, why isn't that popping up? I can hear it though, you guys can hear all that? God damn it, Streamlabs. Oh well, fuck it. Fuck it. I hear y'all. I see y'all. Okay, we accept. Terms and conditions, whatever it says, speed reading, skimmed it all. Really? Oh, skip to end. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. <clears throat> fuck, what's everybody doing? I gotta make this bright because I'm fucking blind as a bat. We blind, yo. We blind. Don't play alone. Oh, this is online too. You can play with a couple people. What's this? The anthology. How's that game volume? If there's any yet. Yeah, so we got uh, Madame Madan, The Little Hope, uh, House of Ashes, and The Devil and Me. And we are uh, going to start at, with The Devil and Me. And probably work our way back. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Okay, let's get to it. Yo, gotta check my posture. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Why am I getting notice saying I'm live? I already know that. I know this. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, continue. New story. What's this lethal? Death is inevitable. Your skills will be tested. Survival is expected. Your skills will be tested. New slot. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> there we go. Make sure it sits bugging. Early choice has consequence. Oh shit. Is it skipping it all? No. Nope. Stream's looking good. Stream's looking good tonight. Need some game volume, don't you? Let me see that here. I'm 
I'm attempting to. I bet you can keep for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. Give me a sec, I'll turn that up. Guys, let me know when that volume's good. Weary of me after an entire day of marriage. I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. There. <laughs> I think we've arrived. That's good. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. This is grand. Let's check in. All right, there we go, guys. Sorry, I'm just checking the checking the volume, make sure you guys can hear all that stuff. Double check in. Fuck, it's been a few days. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. We'll turn that up a little bit more for you. Hey, what's going on? Hello. Hello. Try again. Hello. <laughs> Well, oh. this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Excited? Reassuring everyone must be busy elsewhere? Whoa. Everyone must be use busy the other joystick elsewhere. There. That's no way to run a business. Bing, bing. Slow service. That means bing, they're bing. making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. Oh, snap. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. What's up? Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh, shit. Please, sign in here. Okay. First time in Chicago. Oh, shit. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the all exposition. Right, nice. nice. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh shit, we get married. Oh, we get fucking married. A honeymoon. How very, Damn. very lovely. <clears throat> Big cheese. A Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Press and hold RT to pick up. Congratulations. Objects. Use R to examine. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well... Uh, World's Fair Hotel? Are the rates that much higher? <laughs> all right, Think all nothing right. of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr... Holmes. Henry everybody stopping in. Howard. Can't see any reactions Holmes. right now because um, you have a lovely OBS hotel, Mr. Shit. Holmes. Well, thank, thank you very so much. much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Yo. Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. Philanthropist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Yo, this guy's a fucking Please weirdo. Please have a look around. Right. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. All right. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Well, that light's fucking bugging on me, man. Turn that shit down. Look at 
that doesn't even affect the screen. Let's go then. What did I forget powder? to bring? The bath milk? I forgot the bath milk. Give me some of that. Like shea butter? What do we got? Bearings update when the story branches are important ways. Okay. Oh. Pardon so me, That miss. already played an important part. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. Only the guy's like a ripe fellow. <laughs> like, for real, the smile sucks. How's the marriage going? <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't anything you like fancy? to know? Some cheesy-ass rings, eh? Got no taste. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> That doesn't look Nothing but an unfinished all. room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Paris, yeah, 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 yeah. you won't be denied. How's everything Wait, tonight? What's that? Yeah, we chill, we chill it. Been busting my ass off last few days, man, so haven't been able to catch some stream. So we're just chilling, watching some story time. Press A in the time of the heartbeat. Oh my god. That was a thrill. Really, if we're sleeping Yo, on the Andre, street after getting kicked like, out of here. Hope everyone's been doing well. Let's go. Yo, Anika with the fire. That shit was getting intense already, guys. Shit. We're, st we're just sneaking around Buddy's hotel, eh? Maybe that shit's just a little bit dark. Welcome, we newlyweds, go. to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Looks fire, bro. This game's Do pretty sick enjoy already. your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have. <laughs> you look like you barely see my boy faded, right? Yeah, bro. I'm still. I'm exhausted from I'm the day. I'm sure still. we'll see each other again soon. I catch some stream. And yeah, I am, I am faded as well, <laughs> na naturally, right? Goodness, Maybe this place that. is fit for a king. Peel those fuckers open a bit. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. Oh, that is shit. not very wifely of you. Kiss these nets. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> yeah, my boy faded. Okay, where do we go? Don't fucking hit him in the face. Yo, what? I missed out. I'm about to fucking throw that pillow at that motherfucker. Yo, a little foreplay? What's up? What's up? What's up? Face. Victory! Yeah. <laughs> you cheated! Alright, there's the good stuff. 
<laughs> How about a peace <laughs> offer? Hmm. Got that good stuff. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. Definitely a treacherous plot. I'm trying to get in them sugar walls. Close your eyes. Face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? <laughs> Sound of zipper and If I get a pillow to the face, zip. I will sock you right in the kisser. If I see, if I feel something poke me in the Is ass. Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. What is this? Okay. Marie purchased the rose water. Jeff gave Marie the necklace purchased from the jewelry counter. Okay, I guess uh, not really an option. What's going on? Okay, nothing yet. Bearing secrets, Marie. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Yo, this Pokemon game I'm playing oh, is so much Jeff, fun. It's Yo, which one, which one you playing? I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'm uh, I'm on platinum. I'm now. fighting the second or third gym now. Still gotta play all those two, man. I just wanted to switch it up. I like I like playing like storytell games when I'm just trying to chill. Something's lurking through the people, man. Porky style. <sighs> Why is she grunting like that? Like? It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? <laughs> Tap that X. <laughs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thanks. Nice fucking hotel. Just... Why don't you have a shave while I. Oh, you're playing the cat. Unbound one? Shit. Yeah, yeah, that's the one that Hano's on right now, too. I know that word. It's Fuck French yeah. for something illicit. I like to play that one. Shush. I gotta. Shame. I gotta. I got some other I think things I to get through. I forgot to pack my razor and kit. So I got I'm sure the, the pharmacy downstairs has them. Dark pictures. Don't be too long in that bag. Uh, trilogy. And I'll Don't probably rock worry. this, the Pokemon, and a few others until Hogwarts comes out. The World Fair Hotel. Settle into the hotel. Find a shaving kit. All right, we got some movement going. Let's go. Get in here? What's up? Shaving kit be in the bathroom somewhere, right? So let's find uh let's find ourselves a restroom. Ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck is this? Somebody's cigar? Stogie. Let me in. Better not. Rathlin sweet. Okay, so can I run? Can I walk a little faster or what? Speed walk? Oh, snap. Just hmm. beat the first gym? Hell yeah, let's go. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Oh yeah, the walls change in this fucking one, doesn't it? What? What's up, sweetie? Just giving mommy for make sure. Okay, quit lurking around, please. The little one's just creeping around. Up on the screen, characters can clip inventory items. Oh man, I keep missing these cues. My little one keep creeping out. Right. 
Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? He's gonna whip it out. <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes! Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. Ah! Get away from me! Then I'm not finished yet. I said get Hey, yo, how are we getting cut up the first five minutes of this fucking game? Don't fight it. We'll only hurt more if you do. <laughs> <coughs> We're only prolonging the enough. Jeez. How about a four? What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife has had an accident. <laughs> Is there a problem, sir? Why do I keep pressing that? skipping a little bit for you guys or am I just hearing that on my end I just want to check real quick just double check double check okay yeah because it's it's uh it's just getting poppy on in my ears in my headset so Go back. You're wasting your last chance to tell him that you love him. do that for my bad guys my bad we're fucking everything up now yo you guys just let me know if graphics are actually or graphics are epically brutal like good or bad is that game still skipping Still working, yeah. Oh, yo, I got no audio, guys. One sec, one sec. My audio went funny. Yo, that's my bad, guys. I, I don't even have audio in my ear right now. 
fucking playing with everything. One sec, guys. I gotta fix this up. I don't know why it's skipping. Just give me a second. Let me fix the screen. Adjust it. <laughs> the screen's like trying to catch up. You see it go all fast forward and shit. Sorry about that, guys. Fuck, can't all be perfect. Fuck, it's getting juicy too. Thanks for letting me know it skipped. See, without you guys, I wouldn't know. That's about good, right? That fits everything in the screen. Checkmate. Okay. Just let me know if it's still skipping or whatnot. Probably fucking Streamlabs again. Audio is good. Probably gotta kill that music. I might get uh, I might get copyright on it. I'm gonna run it, but. <clears throat> Everything all good now, so no skipping. Audio's fine. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome to my repository. <laughs> a vast collection of stories that are dark, frightening, horrific. I am the curator. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. This guy's a creep. I can fuck. barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react 
the decisions you make would affect this story. Hidden in the world, yeah, you'll find dark guys. pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. <clears throat> You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against I the rules. This train, like, I can only observe what happens night. and record any significant events. <clears throat> oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out Weird. for them. I haven't heard of that in a You'll long You'll find them time. in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it okay, worth Okay, so just while. like the quarry, the quarry had to find cards, terrible well, cards. Well, shall we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of Time. Uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. It's a job. Chances are slim. <laughs> I've done a key group in lighting test for years. See a problem? Light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK original. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so Charlie on track. Lonitz. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was. I it would. Shit. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, on 1896, <laughs> Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind. <clears throat> following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried, as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? Not bad. Junior reporters, eh? They're like, eh, yeah, it's kind of shit. To be honest, Charlie, it's trash. This is a pilot. 
Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds Hello, amazing, but I, so, uh, I just... I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much. But my time is at a premium. Oh, we're all going on a trip, I we guess. We need to do this today. Stay at that fucking I'll send a car to you this afternoon. 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend. And frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. Just a couple We're in. Of hipsters. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. So what do we got? So these. So the bearing just gives me kind of a a glimpse at the options that are going to be at hand. Gotcha. Mr. Dumet, send you. We. Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. <laughs> Let's load I'm up, good. guys. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that Yo. ring light that makes you all glowy. It makes me even behind it. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Hello. Hooray. Oh, oh. right. It's going to be great, guys. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. This That's who had the obsession with her. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. Yeah. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that can know about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy no. and discretion. I must What's insist. That shit? This My place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Right, not a chance, man. Could be making us pay, Hell but he no. is. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Dude, is sir rich? Shouldn't he have service or something? Is this guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. <laughs> Jackass. Thanks, bro. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. Shoreline Lake, Michigan. There. Come on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly, um, 
up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, right. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Okay. What is this? Approach the wall and use the collapse steps and press A to climb. Okay. Is there a coin or anything down over here? Like, I don't want to be missing shit. I want clues, yo. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Damn. Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Yeah, what the fuck? It's Come just on. like... Anything for a shot, right? It doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into warning the ocean. Cliff erosion. These cliffs I'm going to say we trust the ocean. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers Stop make warning. them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. All right. That's where that. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, Thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Of the victims of the great Why would you want to do that? First, you know, relax a bit. Which I've never seen lives the lost. The crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia. Kes Must have been quite a storm. Which crashed into the rocks at the base of the East Coast. Not crazy. Bust that shit down. Bust it down. <laughs> All right. You got me a hey. fucking. When we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off, addressing my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate so just it. Take a few weeks I'll be fine in post on that. As long as that's paid. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well... No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? 
Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married good. to the job. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just oh my God. hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum no. display or something. Right. Did somebody clipped that. That's probably it. Jesus fuck. That's fucked up. That fucking got me, man. <laughs> Cocksucker. Jesus. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Thought this was thriller shit, damn it. <laughs> Yo. Coming. Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that gonna fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed been. to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Lock tight. Yeah, Come on. Going through that there must be another way. Gap over you sure? The no. I'm optimistic. Shit. Fish factory to close. Pretty late exposed. Fish factory. Exciting times. Could have did a better job with that. Very right, like complete stop and then start shimming. Jeez. <clears throat> Can't believe that dummy got me. This looks pretty old. Nice. What's that? Just some old coin. Find a penny, pick it up. Nice, there we go, we got a clue. He's gonna give us the goods look, now. Sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> How are you not in jail? <laughs> Christ. 
Christ, what the hell is that? To meet you too. Is that just a dog? God damn it. It's in the fridge. Just fuck off. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Six gallons of sanitizer? Charlie, what in God's I'm getting an that? uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. Hey! Some hobby. It moved. What? Fuck. The thing. It moved. Fuck's sakes, man. <laughs> Fuck you, Charlie. It moved. It moved. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Fuck, it did a whole lot more than fucking move. Jesus. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on. Get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. <clears throat> Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. Him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, <laughs> actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Really good. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that turned up? Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. That's it, no turning back. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Fucking lies. Because you don't seem sure. 
it's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Not dressed for a hike. Oh. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Trying to Try not to lung. cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've privacy. known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumont. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a tech then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like Fish, you. Please. Rolling. Fish, please. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. <laughs> wink, wink. What is that guy up to, eh? Mr. Dumas is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's KG. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What well, you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, ow! Oh, oh my damn it! What happened? You okay? Ah. You need to be oh, ego shit. again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, my God. I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. That's stuff not skipping, is it? Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Nah, it's good. It's good. She's gonna kick. Ask you something and get a straight answer, you know, without you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Well, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Your head. <laughs> uh, 
He could have told us to dress for a trek. Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. What the? <laughs> okay. I'm fine. You didn't like... land on your face, did you? Bust my Gotta ankle Gotta protect up. that franchise. Shut up. That makes no sense. I'm fucking whole I'm not even moving holding the joystick over to the left. I wonder if I can like balance and run. Okay, go, 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 bitch, go. SMRT guys. <laughs> you live out here on this island? Get down with your family? Shit, my wife. Do that again. She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on. We're about there. They didn't see us. Let's go. Why are this we creeping around Lucas? There's nothing out here. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. <laughs> this reminds me of shit stomach pants. Car moving and right. stop it here. We'll be able to get across.
Maybe we can get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this? Have <laughs> you see your face? What? Okay, she can fix fuses. Start from the top. Okay. What? God damn. <laughs> ancient follow the arrows and don't go out of sequence unless you want to trip the whole system you're welcome in advance okay what the fuck okay it's gonna through here. Hear that? Wonder what these are. Oh shit. I mean melting bodies. So much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. It's on a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. 
Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleep before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. It's a little chicken shit. Chicken shit. Oh shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Oh, that serious drop. You good? forward don't look down i got it it's fine is it though i shouldn't have looked it, it's just water down there you can swim besides the bridge looks dependable ish i want to save everybody come on i'll help that's it look it's fine down. Yeah. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit. Didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Yes. Dumet. Yes. Where is everyone? Apologies. Uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. We're lurking. Fucking lurking. Wow, Mr. Dumet, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Holy fuck, 120 days? 23 days with the Bollovich? Hello. wonder who you are. Four months. What are you doing? I... I saw a little girl. Up there. Maybe it's your one fan. Now she's lost forever. <laughs> Maybe it's your one such fan. a dick. Everything. JBT is kid about the family. In here is fragile. Please be careful. Don't be touching shit. Would you LA. all mind signing in Just at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup taste is slowing it down. Yeah, that guy stashed all the cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot oh, say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? You already know. You already know. I told you. You already know. Yay.
just kill the camera for the stream and be alright. The game looks super crispy. Crispy is good. Yeah, look at that. That looks great. Oh. She's a creepy old lady. Bessie, creepy old lady. Bessie, Bessie. You've been out in a bottle all day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. Whoa, this sounds like the same creepy uh, lady from the quarry. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I think I peed I was... a little. I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? <coughs> that said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um... It's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. 183, this is me. Okay. Good luck out there. <laughs> don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a hall, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? <laughs> mm, cozy is fun. Cozy is If we have to double up like last time, it's a matter of my morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie gross. sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out. And lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging the shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Cute. Oh. You think I'm cute? <coughs> Niceness? You're so clumsy. You're so clumsy. Mm -hmm. What would Charlie say? Ugh. <clears throat> I know. Where did it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? You okay? <coughs> Shit! You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Cause good job. Oh, you 
Yo, she got asthma. <laughs> Kick that dust up a bit, eh? Yeah, since when do you since have when asthma? Since I do have asthma. Since I was born. My meds are good. It's normally not a thing. I just need to be more careful of things like dust and pollen and getting the shit scared out of me. I'm an asshole. You didn't know. It's fine. Promise. You sure? Sure. Working way I'm sure. My ugly mug on her right now. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Cozy. Hey, this is cinnamon. You gonna try that? Popping bottles. And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. Say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. Like, oh yo, you take God. it like a bitch. I hate you. You are such a liar. I was lying. The wine is trash. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. I totally lied about that. Yeah, my bad. Really? Uh huh. <laughs> sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Er, er. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. <clears throat> Just let that one slide. Oh God, um, sorry. What? No, it, it's fine. I thought you. Uh, I'm an like, idiot. Why is it skipping like that? I mean, damn audio. I thought I was being a little flirty, but I you just. I can't believe I just did that. Who, who is that? Lurking. Having fun peeping? Having fun being a fucking peeping Tom out here? I didn't see a thing. The door's closed. <laughs> uh, listening, Tom? <laughs> Eavesdropper. Yeah, have fun listening in on us. Did I, did I interrupt something? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, and we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. OK, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. So we're all done with what we were talking about? Great. Cool. Good luck finding your rooms. It's just a quick sec here. I'm just trying to do something with the audio here. It keeps popping. 
<coughs> so let's go see if this works. Where the hell are they going? Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... Definitely. That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Charlie's Damn. Just a block there. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? So I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. A mental note isn't good enough. Details matter. Yes. Got it. I will try to do better. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Selling author of Shroud of Innocence comes a thrilling reimagining of one of the histories of most merciless massacres. And that's enough of that. Interesting book. Let's head on now. Let's get out of here. Let's see where we're going. Where are we headed? All these walls are going to change on us. The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. This <laughs> will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. You think we'll get another season?
Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly, and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? <laughs> the editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Fuck that. Charlie about to get fucking hurt. Oh, it's locked. Damn, I guess we're going out. I found the key. To the bar, okay. Oh, wait. Go back down here. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Atta girl. Hello? Wow. It's like from that An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What will it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please? Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes? I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Cigarettes are fun. Yes! Yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it!
not going to take money out of the register. I'll take that. Yoink. Next round's on me. Promise. Yes. I love the daddy. Oi. Oi. Oh, no, 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 please. Come on, no! <laughs> and drop. Fuck. Fuck. Nothing. Okay, what can we use? What's this? Once again, I would like to thank you for your incredible work. You and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake was nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. In horror of them, I've spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we're almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. Invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it. If you enjoy the evening, come to us, it's okay. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. I see the pack's already open, too. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent.
We can get Jamie to set up some lights. No, I don't want to wait around. I want to shoot something before dinner, otherwise Charlie is going to be in my face all evening. And to be honest, I'm at capacity with Jamie. I get it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we... Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones? Like... Shit out of me. Gotta be a way through. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> huh, guess we're not totally alone.
Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. it it's decay. <laughs> Old house. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. your head down. <laughs> this should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. the key somewhere.
jump down. There's literally nothing over here. What the fuck? on a shelf or anything. I couldn't jump down. I can't get down there, man. There's no key anywhere. Where the fuck is this key? There's gotta be a key somewhere for real.
that shit's locked. That's crazy. <coughs> you can do this. She just opened that door. Jesus Christ. Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Hey, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but 
You know, he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk show. You mean talk show? The point is, I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being a baby about it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you're... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but... Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what portrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what? why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just... Left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. It was him and some girl. They were in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave?
I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? Are we just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. What? Well, wow. here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark. And Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And Eric lost my cigarettes. And let's not forget our newest recruit, Erin, even if she does forget things like my cigarettes. Just had to say it, didn't you? We're like a family. <coughs> sure, it's the Manson family, but uh, despite our fighting, we're gonna get through this by having each other's backs. Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. 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 To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally hurt us. So what if he did? It's not like we were lying. It doesn't change a damn thing. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing, Charles. Don't worry, it's not about you. <laughs> you can just feel the love in the room. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? What do we do? We're like alone here. We don't have our phones. It's not like we can leave until he's back. May as well keep busy. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'd rather be staring at a blank wall than sit here any longer. <laughs> hey, Mark. You want to follow Kate around like a lost dog, or should we start planning what gear to pull? There's good light in the lobby, minimal setup time. We can be good to go in 15. Then let's do it. Oh, shit. At the very least, your sets are the most entertaining I've ever been on. <laughs> Say what you like, at least working for me is never boring. Yeah. 
We should get Aaron to pipe in a laugh track to our headset so we never miss a beat of the Charlie Lawn at Comedy Gold. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Mark is right. Light in there is good. Just need to set up a couple fills. Won't take long. Grand. Hello? Guys? Is that you? Or just put your headphones on. the ground with more cement to cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again.
suckered in. Breakers. Jesus Christ, man. That fucking got me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Turn that power back on. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <sighs> choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault.
extension strengthening of rooms to accommodate machinery for moving parts. 10 weeks duration, 560 hours at $240,000. Overhaul the hotel pipework, particularly in the basement. Various remote receivers installed across the hotel. Crazy. That's nuts. stage. Gotta be. I know I looked. Oh shit. I know I looked at it. I think we'll get the power turned on and we probably <coughs> pack it in. It's in the 
locker. That's where it is. Locker right here. Damn it. Zero four five one. God, something from this century. Oops. Oops, what am I doing? Wrong button. One. It's even the name of the fucking achievement. Attention. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Yeah. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, just but you we're about good to go. I think your water just got fucking clapped. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. <laughs> what the hell? Right here. You're not hurt, 
are you? Just open the door! Move! Move! You yeah, should have just chilled. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Uh, guys, I... I, I can't... Go and look for something to knock the door down. Me and Mark will try and pull it open. Get away from me! Hey, you okay? Did you see him? Come on. He, he was, somebody was right there, in there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He, he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Oh, she gone. She gone. She gone, man. Thanks for late, bro. Ah. There you go. We made there it you to are. part one. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Maybe if he had, things wouldn't have become so uncomfortable. Charlie's certainly lost his cool, and if a team can't work together, they are unlikely to succeed. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. Crazy. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and okay. now it's getting... Okay, guys. That's about it for me. That's all I have in me for tonight. Appreciate everybody stopping in. But I gotta get some rest, because I gotta work tomorrow again. Okay, guys, I'll catch you all tomorrow.